so most of the times our spirit guides or our spirit team is going to come to us in so many ways and by that i mean your ancestors i mean the angels and the archangels and um uh, just so you should know that everyone on this planet has a spirit team that works with them in order for you to be able to you know accomplish a certain assignment that you are on at this time now okay so many times you could be noticing like you feel a presence around you if you are in a room you feel like you are surrounded by people but you cannot see them or if you could be walking you feel like there is some people following you or there is a presence around you sometimes it goes as far as like you could put something somewhere and then you realize it moved or like you are like i i remember putting this thing here but why is it here now like why like you know those kind of encounters most of the times this is like your spirit guides or your spirit team trying to send you warnings or they're trying to show you signs because you asked for a sign okay so many times people ask for a sign god give me a sign and then there is strange things that start happening in their lives and then you are like oh my god the devil is attacking me but this is not the devil okay this is you this is your ancestors this is your spirit team trying to communicate with you basically i feel like this is a message for someone who is on their spirit journey and they just started or someone who also has been on the spirit journey but then some things don't make sense yet so this is like your message you could be like moving and then a certain amount of dust comes out from the ground like it then it goes up in the, and it, you know this is like your spirit team this could be like a long gone ancestor in particular trying to tell you something most of the times it's a warning okay for example i'm gonna show you something right here um before i show you you should um you should open your mind first of all if you are on your spirit journey you should open your mind about so many things you should be open to learning so by now you know that i am not a christian i don't do religion i don't do beliefs i just trust this universe and everything as one and i feel one with all of it so why am i saying this it's because you should learn how to open your mind to everything on your spiritual journey don't be limited by i am a christian this is all i know or i am into a shamanism this is all i think it is or i am into this like you should be open to understanding a lot of things because god's spirit it communicates to us in so many different ways for example in my culture we we have like um if you get an encounter of bees at your home this is a message from your ancestors usually it's it's sending in protection it's a representative of wealth and abundance fertility and that you are at peace and in the christian community it it represents the emblem of christ's forgiveness okay so it, in every culture it's it's all positivity so right now today i also have like not even just today for the past days i've been having like an encounter of so many bees bees at my home and then i decided to just you know um when they come i just make sure i give them honey so that they can be comfortable why because i now know that we are all one and usually spirit comes to you like i said your spirit guys come to you in so many ways okay and if usually they come to you and they see that you are someone that is still scared and all that stuff you send them away you're like oh my god look at the bees oh my god look at this like they're not gonna be able to come to you so you should be open to receiving guidance from every kind of creature as long as it's not hurting you or whatever so basically this is like a message to someone who is on their spirit journey that you should stop operating in fear because when you are operating in fear you're not going to be able to like you're not going to be able to receive such encounters like some things are not going to be able to come to you it goes as far as some people like when they ask for signs like god i need a sign i need this and this and this you, you could meet a snake i mean a snake could come to you and then you're like oh my god a snake but sometimes it's like there is a message you know it's not even sometimes everything that you see in this universe it's a sign it's a synchronicity you just have to do the mathematics and know what was i thinking before i came to encounter this where was my mind because everything that it is in your reality it is being created by your mind your thoughts create your reality okay so this is like a message to you to start embracing um the presence that you feel around you and be open to receiving the messages that are going to come with it 
with time it's going to become physical now for me I, I wanted these bees to come here at my home for like a per particular period of time because in my culture it is something okay so i manifested it and now they're they're always here okay and i feel good when they're just yeah i feed them honey and i'm like yeah my my people are good like you know so basically our ancestors our spirit guides sometimes they want to make a physical appearance so that you can really really truly feel that you are not alone because like i said you are going to be feeling like there is a presence in your room but then you cannot see it sometimes they want to come out in a physical when it, when it comes out like in a physical when it manifests in the physical usually the weight on you also becomes lighter because when you just feel like there's a presence sometimes it, you, you, you feel a little bit heavier okay so basically you should learn how to trust and know whatever you are experiencing especially if you are just walking the journey it's like you're still new on the whole journey the birds as well like sometimes people get to see like particular birds like now me sometimes as well like there's a particular bird if i am not okay and maybe i'm lazy it comes to my window and it's gonna like cock, 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 like that it's been happening to me for so many years then i will just know oh. then when i tune into my inner self i'm gonna listen and understand what he's trying to say so basically this is like a message for you to open your mind so much and always listen from within don't be quick to judge don't be quick to be like that is witchcraft that is no 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 no. there is nothing like witchcraft whatever here this is like god as one uh, trying to reveal itself to you in a different form because we are all god as one in different avatar playing a role it's playing a role in my life and playing a role in his life so basically if you really want your spirit guys to give you clear messages and to understand these things like if you really want to communicate with your ancestors and the angels and all that stuff be very open be like completely open okay open your eyes the spiritual eyes not these eyes because these eyes sometimes they're deceptive as well so open the spiritual eyes make sure your heart is operating with love in love and whenever you get encounters of such things make sure you celebrate okay because like they come to you like i said they come to you in different ways celebrate if you see a butterfly celebrate if you see the bird celebrate if you get particular things like as long as it's not even okay even if it's scary make sure you you embrace the changes because this is all training you into the person that you asked to be you know some of you have wanted to you've gone through a lot of things but you are still going through suffering because you are not open your mind is still closed up so for you to be able to reach this state of you encountering it and being at calm you need to be like like that lauren hill song that says how are you going to win when you're not right within, okay? You need to be right within for you to be able to communicate with spirit in different forms because God doesn't just be like there in you all the time. It's going to reveal itself in very scary ways, in very lovey-dovey ways, in a lot of ways. So this is your message. Be open. Whatever encounters that you've been having, the presence, the everything, the things that have been shifting in your room, everything, it is okay. Don't be scared. Keep on like... Keep on going and you could be like writing about it you could also like create something like this sometimes this is like um another way of spirit trying to tell you that be creative okay you you encounter such things create a song create a poem like do something about it okay don't just be like oh my god like okay so i said what i said so hopefully this message helped someone to understand that if you are a chosen one you are going to encounter so many things this is like just nothing this is nothing there's a lot of things i know that you see you see things i know it so embrace them accept them celebrate them ask them to tell you what they need to tell you communicate with them build a relationship with it okay because you are it this is like a mirror okay so that's it my lover i love you so much so much peace and love from africa and um Another thing, there are people here who come and just tell me, oh, don't post this and this. This is my channel. I do what I want and I respect it if you respect me, okay? Yeah, peace, love and light. Kisses from Africa.